The boy accused of killing Lily Peters could have his case moved to juvenile court. That's what his lawyers want to happen. It comes as no surprise as we've been following the reverse waiver court hearings very closely this year. Now, though, new documents are revealing why. The boy known to us as CPB is now 15 years old. He was 14 when he allegedly brutally attacked, raped, and killed 10-year-old Lily Peters last year. Given his age, his lawyers have filed to have the case moved to juvenile court. In order to do that, they need to prove three things. One, that CPB could not receive adequate treatment in adult court. Two, that moving the case would not depreciate the seriousness of the offense. And lastly, that moving the case would not fail to deter other kids from committing similar crimes. In documents filed today, lawyers for CPB argue he will get better treatment to fit his needs in juvenile court. They cite CPB's adverse child and diagnosed psychological disorders as reasons why. They also argue 27 reasons why moving it to juvenile court would not depreciate the seriousness of the case. They include that his sentence there would still be more than a decade and that recent tests show CPB is at low risk for future violence. Lastly, they say CPB is devastated from the crimes and that is one of the reasons moving the case would not fail to deter other kids from committing similar crimes. Last week, we reported Chippewa County District Attorney Wade Newell wants the case kept in adult court. You can read both their arguments on WQOW.com and a tentative court date for the judge to rule on this matter is scheduled for January. However, it could come sooner than that.